Hey everyone, Noel here for JotForm. Today we're going to talk about what single sign-on actually is and how it works on JotForm. I'm sure you'll learn a lot. Okay, let's go. Organizations use a lot of different software solutions, and all those different logins can be impossible to remember. For security purposes, you certainly don't want people in your organization using the same usernames and passwords for their accounts. That's where single sign-on can help. JotForm works with enterprise customers and their single sign-on providers, including Okta, OneLogin, and Duo Security, so organizations can manage access to their forms and house any collected information in a single account. On the whole, single sign-on aims to strike a healthy balance between security and convenience by giving organizations control over who can use certain software solutions. Employees can access all approved applications with a single set of login credentials. Single sign-on also makes it easy to recover information and access to online accounts when an employee leaves your organization. If you aren't familiar with it, we'll explain what single sign-on is and how it works for JotForm's enterprise customers. But before we move on, just so you know, JotForm's single sign-on feature is available only for users with enterprise plans. All right, what exactly is single sign-on? Well, single sign-on, commonly abbreviated as SSO, is a safeguard that lets people use a single set of login credentials, usually an assigned username and password, to securely verify their identity for multiple applications and websites. Businesses often use trusted third-party software services, known as identity providers, to store and authenticate usernames and passwords for employees. Without SSO in place, employees enter their login credentials each time they use all of the different websites or applications approved by their company, even if they have the same username and password. In contrast, the single sign-on process relies on third-party identity providers rather than individual websites or applications to store and authenticate login credentials. Usernames and passwords aren't stored in the databases of websites or applications. This strategy aims to address a key security concern that's often tied to using the same username and password for different websites. A data breach affecting a single website or application could be disastrous for a business, especially if any stolen passwords and usernames could be used to access other systems. Still, the very process that makes SSO so convenient for employees and secure for businesses can also be its Achilles heel. Since SSO lets employees access multiple company-approved websites and applications with a single set of login credentials, it could also provide the same broad access to hackers in the event of a data breach. So there is feasibly some risk involved. But with a two-factor authentication in place, sometimes called 2FA, which requires employees to provide information in addition to a username or password, such as a code sent to their cell phone or a private PIN, breaches are rare. But how does single sign-on work for JotForm enterprise users? Well, JotForm integrates with a wide range of identity providers that allow enterprise users to access their account through their organization's dedicated SSO portal. Simple. Okay, there you have it, folks. We just learned all about single sign-on, how it works, and how it works with JotForm. Let's do a quick recap. In this video, we learned what single sign-on is, why it's handy and important for organizations, and how SSO is used in conjunction with JotForm. I hope this video helped you learn something new. My name is Noel, and this is JotForm. See y'all later.